welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today in this practical video i will guide you on load transfer mechanism in rcc slave so this is very important to know about this practical video so this is i think first practical video to guide you on this construction site on load transfer mechanism in rcc slave guys you can see this is rcc slave so this is one of the mega project but i will guide you for low transfer mechanism only on this slab which size is 24 feet by 14 feet okay width is 14 feet and length is 24 feet so let's get start guys if you have any question related to this short video so you can comments i will respond to you okay if you are new on this channel so you may subscribe this channel to get more update civil engineering videos Guys, you can see here, when the loads come on the top of slab, so the slab transfer the load to the beams. Guys, you can see beam. So this is floor beam, where we have four bars at the bottom portion. Guys, you can see clearly, four bars we have at the bottom portion and two numbers of bars in upper portion. Okay, so this is beam. On four side, we have a beam. Okay, look at here on four side we have beam look so when the load comes on the top of the slab so the slab load transfer on each side okay it distribute the load so on length wise also on width wise on both direction the load transfer so where the load uh, transfer so the load transfer on the beam this is the beam that is the beam that is the beam and that is the beam when the load transfer on the beam so the beam transfer the load to the columns where is the column this is the column and this is the column that is the column and that is the column so these beam transfer the load to the columns and column transfer the load to the footing or foundation and foundation transfer to the soil now that's depend on the bearing capacity of the soil if the bearing capacity of the soil and the depth of foundation or the design of foundation is well so it can support the structure load where is the structure load structure load means when we uh, design this slab on the top of this the other floor beam the other uh, the other beam or columns etc that is called structure load structure load means the total building load it transfer to the beams so the slab transfer to the beam, beam transfer to the column, column transfer to the foundation or footing. Now guys, if you see here, at the distance of L by 4 guys, you can see we have extra steel rods. We don't have here. Look at here. This is singly mesh. If you come here on this side, so this is extra steel rods. You can see these are extra steel rods. These are extra steel rods. On each side, we have extra steel rods. So extra steel rods means when the load comes here, so it distribute the load on each side so at the distance of l by 4 we have negative bending moment at the distance of l by 2 we have positive bending moment l by 2 means so this is the span which is 24 feet so on the 24 feet l by 2 there we have positive bending moment so therefore at the positive bending moment so when the load comes on the top of this so there it provides negative bending moment and there it provides negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment look at here we have extra steel rods look at here yes so this is singly mesh so that is extra steel rods on each side you will see the extra steel rods and look at here on this side you can see extra steel rods on this side you can see extra steel rods so this is the proper way to guide you practically so here guys if you see this is one way slip or two way slip so what is one way slip what is two way slip so the load transfer mechanism also depend on the one way slip and two way slip but in two way slip okay so first of all if you don't know about one way slip and two way slip so you can find in my channel what is one way slip and two way slip so in one way slip we are not providing extra steel rods on both direction but in two way slip we are providing uh, side bars are extra steel rods are crank bar are bent up bar on two uh, are four side that's why because that is two way slip so in two way slip the load transfer on both directions left side also on right side but in one way it transfer to the one direction so therefore we are providing at one direction extra steel rods are bent up bar so if you have two way slip so on four sides we are providing extra steel rods if you see here this is two way slip all building is two way slip so for that reason we have extra steel rods on each side to resist negative bending moment so guys you can see clearly 
Look at here. So why we have a column? When the load comes on the slip, so the slip transfer the load to the beam. And beam transfer on this side, where is the column? And the other load it distribute on this side, there we have a column. And when the load comes from this side, so it distribute here. So left side, right side, there left side, right side, therefore we have supports. And supports are columns. And the columns transfer to the where? Foundation or footing. Hope this short video can help you to know about load transfer mechanism. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.